Greetings. My name is Bishop K.B. Shamiarira. I just want to take this opportunity to share with you five uh, great lessons that I have learned from the Bible about business. Number one, no sweet without sweat. If you want to enjoy the sweets of this life, you need to sweat for them first. Sweat as you think. Sweat as you plan. Sweat as you implement. Sweat as you work. You need to make sure that you sweat for whatever you desire in this life. Number two, sow a seed so that you can reap a good harvest. If you wish to have a good harvest in this life, you need to make sure that you sow a good seed. Sow a seed by investing your time into your business. Sow a seed by investing your abilities and capabilities into your business. Sow a seed by investing your money into that business and you will reap a good harvest. Number three, save so as to invest. The Bible from the book of Proverbs chapter number 13 verse 11 says, Dishonest money dwindles away, but he who saves money little by little makes it grow. If you want to grow your money, you need to make sure that from the little that you are getting, save something until it becomes a significant figure which you can invest with. So save money little by little and makes it grow. Number four, get some training or mentorship. If you really want to be successful in business, you need to find somebody who has been there before you, somebody who has walked the walk, somebody who can hold your hand and show you the way. If you want to be successful, you need somebody. Don't make yourself an island. Remember, every Joshua needs a Moses, every Elisha needs an Elijah, and every David needs a soul. So if you want to be successful, get somebody to lead you, to show you the way. Number five, whatever you do, do your best. From the book of Genesis, we read a story about two brothers, Cain and Abel. Both were farmers. Cain had fields. Abel had sheep. Cain put his half-hearted efforts into his field and he produced half-hearted results and he tried to give those to God and God rejected them. But Abel, on the other hand, he had to put everything into his business and he produced the best results. Then he gave God the best from the best and God accepted him. So what do you do as a business person? Make sure that you produce the best and you give the best and you sell the best. If you sell the best, your customers will remain with you and you are going to be successful. Thank you. God bless.